Vapor pressure is a material property that characterizes how likely or what, what is the propensity for a molecule to leave the liquid phase and go into the vapor phase. So if we had a container of some liquid and air on top, the vapor pressure characterizes how likely is a single molecule here going to pop off and leave the liquid phase and go into uh, the gaseous or the vapor phase. So the higher the vapor pressure material, the more volatile it is, and the more likely it is to evaporate quickly. So if you were to look at a PT diagram, at low temperatures and high pressures, we would have everything exist in the liquid phase, and this is for a single component. At low pressures or high temperatures, we have a vapor or a gas. This curve that I've drawn here, this is the vapor pressure. And typically we'll write this as P star, and we'll say uh, as a function of T. So the reason why we write out the vapor pressure like this is as a reminder that the vapor pressure is a very strong function of temperature. And you can see here it is an exponential function of temperature. Very weak functionality at low temperatures and a very high dependence on uh, temperature at, at uh, higher temperatures. This point up here, this is the critical point, so TC, PC. If we were to trace this down over here, we could have the critical temperature and the critical pressure. And notice that there is no vapor pressure above the critical point because at this point, there is no way to distinguish between a liquid or a vapor. So let's say, for example, down here we were dealing with a pressure of one atmosphere. If we were to trace this over, where we intersect the vapor pressure line, this gives us what we call the normal boiling point. So for water at one atmosphere, we know that the normal boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. This is where the atmospheric pressure would be equal to the vapor pressure, which is given by this curve. So if we were to have some arbitrary liquid at some P1, T1, where this would be P1 and T1 here, there are two ways that we could vaporize this liquid and get it to be um, all vapor. We could either increase the temperature by potentially putting it on a stovetop or something like that until we cross this boundary over here and we would have then a vapor or we could keep the same temperature and we could start depressurizing it until the vapor pressure at P1 is equal to the system pressure and you could also get the material to vaporize that way. So in terms of the vapor pressure, there are going to be three common ways that we can use to uh, access what it is experimentally, or access what it is in order to solve problems. One, we can uh, look it up, and this would be if the data is physically tabulated. We could measure it, or we could estimate it. Now this will be using a thermodynamic equation called the Clausius-Clapeyron equation. And we won't talk about that right now in uh, this uh, video. Right now we're talking about how to look it up. Now the most common way that vapor pressure is uh, tabulated and stored, um, if it's not stored directly in some sort of a data table as a function of temperature, it is going to be in what we call Anton's equation. Anton's equation has a form that is based in the Clausius-Clapeyron equation. But generally, Anton's equation is written as the log 10 of the vapor pressure is equal to an equation of the following functional form. So here, we would input the temperature in degrees Celsius, and a table would give us A, B, and C, and typically there's a temperature range associated with it. So if we wanted to calculate what the vapor pressure was at a particular temperature, effectively it would have P star of T is equal to 10 raised to the power of A minus B over T plus C where again, this T is in degrees Celsius. 
And so the vapor pressure is a very uh, useful material property to know. It's tabulated a lot of different places, uh, but Anton's equation is typically going to be the most common uh, way that you'll see the data presented if it's not presented in the steam tables or in some other tabulated or graphical form.